Hey, friendo, Steve here. Hey, Larson. And on today's Going In Raw News Brief, the Bastard Pack returns to AEW soon, and we've got a small SmackDown preview. But first, we've got tons and tons on WWE wrestlers suspending their Twitch accounts. Larson, what's in the news? So yesterday on News Brief, we talked about uh, WB superstars such as AJ Styles, Cesaro, uh, me and Yim, mm-hmm. all suspending their Twitch accounts. Uh, and PW Insider has some details on how that all came about. Um, you know, this has been going on for at least more than a month. Mm-hmm. I think it was in September where word came in that uh, Vince was saying, everybody, shut down your third-party arrangements. Mm -hmm. So today, PW Insider reports that, quote, several talents recently met with McMahon in order to sit down with him to argue against the Twitch ban, but given that a number of high-profile talents, including AJ Styles, have announced they are suspending their Twitch streams overnight, it would not appear they were successful in swaying the WWE head. Ugh. Uh, As to why WWE is shuddering these accounts this is what PW Insider has to say. Quote, WWE is going to relaunch their Twitch presence in a major way. Doesn't want anything that could run opposite of their strategy going forward. PW Insider confirmed several weeks ago with sources at Twitch that there are plans for a big push for WWE's own Twitch channel going forward, likely launching by the end of the year, if not sooner. So, and they add this would fit the whole timeline about WWE wanting to take over uh, or uh, telling their talents to stop streaming on Twitch. Um, and then PW Insider goes into the money aspect. Now we heard, I forgot who said it, that the idea or the rumor being floated was that WWE was going to uh, essentially assume control of the wrestlers Twitch channels and they would take a chunk of the proceeds, the revenue, and then whatever was left would go to those talents but it would go against their downside guarantee. Um, which, of course, these days with no live events, probably smaller merch checks, uh, you know, wrestlers aren't getting really any bonuses probably because they're working once a week, maybe twice a week for pay-per-views. You know, their take-home pay is a lot less. Well, okay, but it's also offset by road expenses, which are plentiful. So we don't oh, know, I understand that. We don't understand know that. the actual, the, the actual, like... Uh, 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 one versus the other. So I, we can't really say, you know, like, yes, uh, obviously those are going to be down, but I don't know what road expenses are or other expenses oh, I'm sure, I'm to sure offset copious. that. I'm sure they're copious, but nonetheless, you know, this is an endeavor that several wrestlers are undertaking on their own to these Twitch streams and such. And, and yeah, anyways. I'm not defending so, the WWE here, mind you. I'm just saying no, that. And, and PW Insider gets into this here. In, so in, just, the interest, this. in the interest of, like, trying to keep things, you know, down the middle. I don't want to start claiming that we know the the, the actual finances of these wrestlers. Is my point. Oh, not at all. Not at all. Uh, so according to PW Insider, quote, fear among talents that we have heard from in recent weeks is that if they sign their Twitch channels over, they could conceivably lose a significant amount of revenue during a period of time when they are no longer making bonuses to, due to the lack of live events, merchandise royalties being down, etc., uh, sources on WWE's side have downplayed those fears, pointing out that since talents are not on the road, the road expenses are down, and pointing out that pointing out that last year, pretty much the entire roster across the board signed new deals with higher di- downside guarantees. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, this is uh, I'm this is uh, this is crappy, um, obviously yeah. to say the least. Yeah. Um, the the idea that doing something that has nothing to do now again. I, I don't know what's in the contracts in terms of uh, media appearance type things, which WWE could conceivably consider this. But considering that none of these people are doing this under WWE's purview, mm-hmm. uh, th- this is this is tacky at best and probably yeah. illegal. <laughs> Potentially, worst. depending yeah. on the wording of their of the contracts, mm-hmm. then yeah, yeah. Um, so, uh, I know, you know, because uh, WB tried to claim or we had heard, although this had been disputed, that they were trying to claim essentially ownership of these wrestlers, not only their WWE names, but their actual names as well. I mean, the most interesting thing about this first bit is and we'll get into, you know, Paige's reaction and Zelina Vega and Aleister Black's reaction mm-hmm. here in a second. Mm-hmm. But the fact that the wrestlers did sit down with McMahon to plead their case. Um, and as a result, or you know, uh, as as a lack of result, there they're suspending 
uh, their Twitch channels. I still haven't seen uh, 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 Adam Cole hasn't streamed in, I think I want to say like three days. Mm-hmm. Um, and I wonder if he was, I mean, there's a couple, oh wait, oh, he's on right now. <laughs> that fool's probably like, yeah, they can have my channel, whatever. Um, no, I don't well, know. I, I, don't mean, know. I, don't know. I don't know if this applies to NXT talents <clears throat> either, you know? Oh, that's a good, that's uh that's a good question. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, we, yeah, we don't know. Um, I mean, he's got to figure at some point they're going to send me to main roster. This is going to be an issue. But also, Paige had mentioned that she's still going to be streaming tomorrow, and that's going to be mm-hmm. it. So mm-hmm. it could be a matter of we're still going to get Adam Cole's reaction to this, and he still might suspend his his Twitch account. Um, but, yeah, it is interesting that they that they tried to appeal to, to Vince McMahon, who I'm sorry, I, I, I know he's a smart guy, but he's well deep into his 70s. I can't believe for a second that he understands – what the hell Twitch even is. Much less the benefits to his company. I mean, beyond WB having their own Twitch. Um, you know, uh, I, I read this, you know, back when uh, uh, all this first started, and I can't remember who, because my memory is bad, that uh, someone made the point of when, uh, at a time when WB has a, a really difficult time appealing to younger yeah, viewers, yeah. 18 yeah. to 49 demo, mm-hmm. uh, superstars streaming on Twitch is a great outlet to reach that demographic yeah. and to to close that down is not that great of a business move on Vince's part. Now, I will say this. So we're about to get into we have an entire quote from Paige's uh, uh, from uh, Paige's stream yesterday where she she sort of breaks down and talks about this uh, in very emotional terms. And, and that's, yes. it's it's for 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 her. It's it's sad because you got to wonder when she talks about it, she talks about her Twitch channel filling the void that she, that was missing from her life. Um, uh, because she had to stop wrestling. Because she had to stop wrestling, which, you know, goes to, well, her mental health. And if this is something that's therapeutic for her, and Grant, I know, I understand she's making a ton of money. That's besides the point. You know, money can only go so far in terms of helping a person. I mean, if, if somebody, if, if I'm isolated from the entire world, but I'm getting a million dollars a month in my bank account, uh, I'm probably still going to be kind of effed up. You know what I mean? Because like money can only go so far. Yeah. If she gets something that is healthy for her uh, mental health wise out of this, um, then it's there's an extra layer of tragedy added to it as opposed to just, you know, the business aspect of things. Um, and also like uh, Mia Yim and some other WB streamers have done a good number of charity streams. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Raising money for various causes. Yeah. And um, if WB shuts you know, their Twitch streams down, that's going to end. Yeah. So uh, one thing to, to th- that I sort of paid attention to, so there were two, after yesterday we did our, our thing, uh, mm-hmm. uh, Alistair Black and Zelina Vega, they did a stream, Paige did like a whole nine-hour stream, including the NFL game yesterday. Um, and in Zelina Vega's and Alistair Black's case, um, he was saying, he was pretty adamant that, there's a lot up in the air, and obviously he couldn't talk about details. But well, to be based on what they said, it didn't seem like they knew anything. It seemed like there was a lot up in the air, um, yeah. which you could translate as they don't know anything. Well, I think that's what they said. I mean, because I watched this morning too, and I believe they said we don't know anything. Like that—that that was that was basically what was said. Is like we haven't because he made it. Sound, they made it sound like. Uh, apparently, it seemed like others had had conversations, and that's why their channels were suspended. Yeah. And my impression was they haven't had those conversations yet. And that's why I said today, Friday, during TV, he expects to have a conversation. Oh, I didn't see that part of it. Mm-hmm. Okay. He said that he expects to have. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, maybe, and this is pure speculation, maybe WWE is, they wants to, they want to put it on hold pending the launch of their Twitch channel. And maybe at that point. They'll realize, like their digital department, will realize the benefit of having these wrestlers and their active Twitch accounts. If it was, I mean, I don't know. I can't really, I can't speak for their situation because I'm not in their shoes. But you know, I, there's no way that I would ever 
<laughs> let them take something that could be potentially a huge source of revenue after the fact, after if I decided to leave WWE at any time mm-hmm. in the future, mm-hmm. I wouldn't want to then say, okay, well, I want to take back my Twitch channel that I built. Can I have it back? So yeah, completely. Suspend your damn channels. Don't let WWE take them. Um, but it's also possible that if if all the people who are on Twitch then say, I don't want to participate in this WWE Twitch endeavor, um, they might under WWE might understand, okay, well, we're not gonna get much headway without them. And if what mm-hmm. they want is their own channels back to cross promote, mm-hmm. then under those circumstances, maybe we will. Now, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We'll but uh, I guess I guess the you know I, I'm I'm curious of what WB's Twitch strategy is going to be is the idea that they'll have some stuff like I guess the bumps on there it's going to be antiquated uh, kickoff shows <laughs> I know yeah. kickoff shows are on there but are they going to expect their talents to block off two hours to stream on their own and they're going to say so uh, AJ Styles I'll just throw his name out there uh, instead of streaming whenever you want on your cha- on your own channel Thursdays at uh, four o'clock you got three hours. If Was there's that the idea, you if, know, if there's a trade off, if there's a trade off where they say, look, listen, legally speaking, we're allowed to shut your channel down. Um, you can't do this. Like if that's ironclad in the contracts and the trade off is stream for three hours on a Thursday and you get your channel back to do whatever you want, whenever you want, might be actually a pretty good deal for well, the rest of the world. I guess, I mean, if that's the deal but i mean if if, the but that's a big is, if we don't know that's it that's a massive if but if the idea is wb shutting everybody's channel down because they want to have a huge relaunch of their own channel and they're going to take say to their talents hey all that streaming you were doing on your own now you have to do it for us when we tell you to do it and that's it yeah i don't know i mean that's that seems unlikely they can say hey you have to sit down and stream yeah, i don't know i don't and know be like, okay well i'm selling my streaming stuff like i'm not i'm just not gonna you know i'm, not, I'm just gonna sell my streaming i'm not available for that now so I mean, I don't know. I don't want to speculate on that because we don't know. Like, I can't say that they're going to make them do stuff when I just don't know. Um, anyways, uh, Paige did have this to say. She's been the most outspoken WWE talent in terms of criticizing the company for their new Twitch policy. Uh, she held nothing back last night. She said this. There may be a time where I have to stop streaming. I'll have to walk away. If I have to leave, we have to make today and Saturday effing crazy. I've honestly gotten to the point where I cannot deal with this company anymore. Now I have to make a very important decision. I'm fucking tired, man. I broke my fucking neck twice, twice for this company. Over fucking worked. I broke my fucking neck twice for this company. They don't realize that this community isn't about subs. We build a community and a family where this is an escape for a lot of people, including myself. I can't wrestle anymore. I was worked so hard in WWE that I can't wrestle anymore because my neck is fucked. My whole dreams got taken away. I had to have something that fulfilled that huge fucking void I lost with wrestling. I couldn't wrestle anymore. Something I lived and breathed since I was a fetus and it got ripped away from me. I had to find something that I could fill a little bit of that. And Twitch was a wonderful thing for me. It's such a wonderful place for me. <clears throat> I these, understand. These transcripts, hold on, these transcripts are from FIFA. That's what I meant yeah, to get thank you. there. Uh, I understand if they're like, you're wrestling every day and doing shows every day, but I'm an injured wrestler. I get used for media stuff sometimes. But at the end of the day, I'm in my house going fucking crazy and I need something to keep me sane. Twitch was my escape. Right now, I'm just sitting on my fucking ass. People think I should be thankful that I still have a fucking job. And I am, but it doesn't mean I should be treated like fucking shit. I had my neck taken away from me twice. You can't take away my Twitch too. I'm going to keep streaming. We'll see how that goes. She said, I haven't been used on TV in a year. This is our fun and where we can be ourselves. That's why we're here and on Twitch. We also have a wonderful community. What's the pocket change we're getting compared to the billions these people are getting? We're not hurting anybody or doing anything harmful. We're just having a good time. People are on YouTube, have merchandise, wrestling schools, and Twitch gets taken down. Um, so obviously it's very emotional for her. Yes. Uh, I mean, yeah, they haven't. I thought she was pretty awesome as SmackDown general manager when she was there. It's shocking they haven't used her again, given like how popular she is. I know. Um, yeah. So and Especially yeah, with it, backstage, you know, mm-hmm. uh, getting canceled. Yeah, think, well, we'll find something for her. Yeah, she's really good. Yeah, she's, she's still really yeah. popular. She's got a mass. I mean, she has like over I don't know ten thousand, fourteen thousand, something like that, thousand subs mm-hmm. on Twitch. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of support she has, and yeah. Uh, and yeah, WWE is, is dropping the ball with her. Not shocking. Yeah, um, no, not shocking. Not shocking at all. Again, if you know, it'd be nice to know. 
Well, first, it'd be nice for these talents to know whatever this Twitch plan WB has so they could plan accordingly, mm-hmm. assuming those plans have been relayed. Maybe, uh, you know, AJ or Mia Yim or Cesaro uh, caught wind of their plans because they've had these conversations. And they're like, mm, don't want to be involved in that. I'm just going to yeah. shut my stuff down. That would make sense. Um, just don't know. Mm-hmm. And that's this kind of seems to be a th- the thing with WWE is you work there, things happen, and sometimes you read about it not from it's any sort of intercompany communication. Mm-hmm. It's from stuff you read on the internet. Yeah, they're all subscribed to just, Fightful Select. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's, so they that's can know what's a, going on in their careers. I know that's not a good working environment. It's no. not. No, it sucks. It's not. It, it builds a great, uh, you know, when you, when your employer is not transparent with you, uh, it breeds uh, distrust. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, just watching the Alistair and Zelina Vega thing, you could tell they were, I mean, Alistair was trying to be as optimistic as possible. Mm-hmm. You could tell they're both pretty upset about it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they have every right to be. Absolutely. <clears throat> um, Absolutely. Yeah. So uh, somebody who seems to be perpetually upset with life itself, the bastard pack, he's back, uh, a, or he's about to be. AEW announced on Twitter today that, quote, after months of silence in isolation, why hasn't he been on Twitch? Uh, we'll hear from bastard pack this Wednesday, November 4th on Dynamite. I can't figure out how to get my capture stream to Back work. Twitch. He would just, uh, just, just like blast every game for not being good enough. This game sucks. Anyways, let's see if we have a SmackDown preview. No, we don't. I just checked. There's nothing on WWE.com. No official. Hold what? Uh, D- dot com. They, 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 they do their previews via Twitter these days, man. You know that. Let's check WWE's yeah, Twitter account. See what they got. People are too busy to ripping off their superstars to post a goddamn preview. Register now for Thunderdome. Oh, man. That Walter freaking Dragonov match was oh, I gotta insane watch that. yesterday. It was great. Yeah, I gotta watch uh, that. Let's see here, Chad Gable. Let's see, uh, Mansoor. Uh, yeah, there's a there's a whole oh there's a virtual meet and greet with Xavier Woods Wednesday, November fourth. There's Mario Lopez dressed as uh, Ric Flair. Yeah, that looks good. He looks good there. Uh, I don't see anything for SmackDown tonight. Nor do oh, I. Oh, actually, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I forgot. Yeah, oh, last night during Thursday Night Football, uh, uh, there was an ad for SmackDown. Where tonight the consequences for Jay Uso yes. begin? I just came across that on WB's Twitter. There you go. I do remember seeing that. So, so we have one one item announced. There you go. There's our SmackDown officially preview. for SmackDown. Anyways, now what do you guys gifts from the Walter match? What do you guys think about all this Twitch business? What should WWE do? What should the oh down? But for the wrestlers, up. Okay, let them, let them stream. Damn it. What do you? So let us know how you think in the comments below. Uh, thumbs up or down? Uh, and then how do you feel about Pac being back? Thumbs up. Okay, good. Let us know how you guys think about that in the comments below. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Until next time, we'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Be a part of the best pro wrestling podcast today at patreon.com forward slash Stephen Larson. Enjoy tons of bonus videos, including patron-only live shows, gameplay, and vintage 10 for the wins, access to podcast question threads, the friendo care package, and so much more. Support Going In Raw today at patreon.com forward slash Stephen Larson.